Hello, Internet. This is Sam Messman from We Make Movies here. And just a quick uh, ethics statement here, which is that while I wasn't paid by Noise Industries to do this, I did receive a few plug-in packages uh, that they licensed to me for this. Um, however, uh, basically anything that I cover in here, I use on my personal projects and on my clients' projects, and I have absolutely no problem fully endorsing all of the plugins that I've included here. Anyway, the first thing you want to do is go to the Noise Industry website, which is noiseindustries.com slash fxfactory. Uh, what you want to do is click on the Download FX Factory button from the main page there, and it's going to download the software, and then uh, once it's done downloading, you're going to want to open it up. And as you can see, some are highlighted and some are grayed out. And if they're grayed out, it means that they're not currently installed and won't show up in Final Cut. When we go into the preferences, we'll go a little deeper into that. So you can see there's little uh, check mark boxes next to them. These are the ones that I have installed personally. And uh, these are the ones that I use and show up in Final Cut. And all you need to do to enable them is click the checkbox and they'll come into Final Cut. Also, when you go into rendering, um, you want to check your limit resolution size. I leave mine at 8K because I do a lot of red work and if I don't have it set there, it's hard for me to work with epic footage. But you can basically render any resolution. That setting's basically there to protect slower computers. So if you have a slower machine, you may want to set it a little bit lower. Um, Anyway, let's go ahead, enough of all this, let's get into Final Cut and go ahead and get started. If you find yourself needing to uh, stylize or uh, make some of your video grittier um, or more urban, you may want to check out some of Luca's effects and generator packages. I'm going to start with his light kit and I've got this uh, Times Square city shot, stock shot here that um, using some of uh, Luca's light kit plugins, basically you can do all kinds of complicated, really stylized effects uh, with pretty much a mouse click. And um, these are great, I think, for music videos. And what I'm going to do is just kind of take you through some of these with the thumbnails, and then I'm going to play a couple back for you with the default settings just to give you a sense of what some of these do. You just drag them on. They're really customizable, and they're actually really high-end uh, things that take advantage of a lot of the uh, filters and effects that come standard in motion that you can just use directly from Final Cut. And scrolling down here, there's pretty much a million of them in this package, and now I'm going to go ahead and step over to the timeline and just play a few back that have been rendered so you can get a sense of what these do. And in this first one, I've got kind of a vignette on the outside. And in the second one, there's more of a uh, flicker lighting effect. In this third one, there's kind of a glow stylized effect. And in the last one, it's kind of a black and white cartoon effect. Um, and pretty much the possibilities with this are effectively limitless. There's um, this. When you go into the inspector, you know, there's all kinds of sliders and they're really customizable. Going through here, you know, I can take this black and white clip and pretty much do anything I want to it. Um, and, you know, these are, are, I think, of a much higher quality than the typical stylized look plugins that you would find elsewhere. And in this next clip, I'm going to highlight uh, another package he has, which is his Grunge FX uh, generator package that he has. And when I step in here, um, there's actually two nested compound clips. And uh, he has a host of generators that he gives you access to. And basically on this uh, series of credits, I've used a... Uh, hair and scratches and dirt generator to kind of make this end title sequence a little more interesting and uh, these are all under his grunge effects package like his light kit package there's a million of these to choose from and they're all generators and they're basically if you need to make your footage dirty in kind of a stylized fashion this is probably the plug-in package for you 
But the uh, plugin package from him that I use the most is his Light Leaks package. Uh, playing through this, basically, I have turned all of these clips black and white, and going into his Light Leaks generator package, you'll see these various different light effects that he's done. And I use these uh, basically to kind of put a different look. This is great for music video stuff and it's really highly stylized and uh, what I tend to do with them is I will layer a series of them on top of footage usually that I'll make black and white and um, then I'm going to go into the inspector and I'm going to change the composite mode on them. I set all of these to soft light and uh, when I go under these, usually soft light, overlay, hard light, vivid, uh, in that category, or screen above, is going to give you a really interesting effect when you change the composite mode and then play them back. Uh, I use these pretty regularly. And lastly, he's got a series of uh, film leader generators that are really pretty interesting. Um, they're called Lucas Film Leaders, and they're also, like his others, really customizable. Um, and there's a lot of them. And, you know, when you click in there, you can go in and adjust the text um, and pretty much get it to say anything you want. And, you know, these are great for horror movies, thrillers, and trailers, and they really add a lot of production value with pretty minimal amounts of effort. And if you watch this and it all went totally over your head or you just don't feel like doing it, well, this is what I do for a living. So feel free to hire me either to consult on your movie or to finish your film for you if that's what you need. So if you want to get in touch, just drop me an email over at sam at wemakemovies.org. And lastly, if you're wondering what this whole We Make Movies thing is, check us out over at wemakemovies.org. Or if you live in L.A. or Toronto, sign up for our newsletter and then come to one of our events. I'll see you guys next time. And cut!